from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering GitLab Commit 2020. Brought to you by GitLab. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman and this is theCUBE's exclusive coverage of GitLab Commit 2020 here in San Francisco. Uh, you might notice it's a little chilly uh, in San Francisco today. Uh, welcome to the program, first time against uh, Vince Domania, who is a Senior Director of Engineering at Axway, and you can tell by the GitLab Commit jacket uh, that uh, he is a speaker at the show, uh, and uh, good thing uh, to, to wear that one today. Yes, Vince? Yes, it's very, very chilly here, <laughs> but we're all having a great time. Yeah, absolutely. It's the, the warmth of the community uh, that, that, that's keeping everyone going. Uh, first of all, I believe first time we've had Axway on, on our program, so uh, for people that don't know, tell, tell us a little bit about Axway. Sure, Axway's in the business of helping save your company, basically, and help them through the digital transformation. So if you've ever deposited a check electronically on your phone, you've probably, there's a 90% chance you've crossed one of our API gateways or managed file transfer systems. So um, we've helped banks, we help uh, uh, hospitals, healthcare, lots of verticals and assisting them through their digital transformation. Awesome, so yeah, we love talking about digital transformation. Your presentation uh, here at, the, at, at Commit uh, is actually about journey to cloud. So uh, tell us a little bit about what, what that means, give us a little bit of view inside what you're going to be sharing with the community here. Sure, Journey to the Cloud is, is a program that we conceived a couple of years ago, and it's all about bringing our company into the cloud native space, as well as bringing our existing product line into the cloud so it, it can uh, run, it can scale, easy to deploy, day two operations. Um, so what we're gonna talk about today is basically Axway's journey from, as an ISV, going from quarterly and semi-annual deliveries to daily deployments, low change failure rates, uh, faster lead time to changes, so. Yeah, it's, a, it's wonderful things. But if you hear about DevOps, it's all about uh, you know how how we can shorten those release cycles and have those continuous feedback loops. So, uh, how long have you been with Axway? I've been with Axway for four years now. Okay, so yeah, bring us inside a little bit. That 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 journey is you know what are the ripple effects as you try to tighten things down and you know not get on the train, but you know just it's it ship and ship and ship. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I I can, I can say that it's a journey that really requires vigilance. Um, it's constant practice, continuous learning to be lean. Um, so if I were to describe the journey, uh, it's about contributing together, working as one team to build one platform, and that's across dev, ops, and security. Um, we'll go into a bit about how we really shif shifted security left this year by working closely with them. We really took the time to seek to understand their needs as well as the security team understanding our needs in terms of continuous deployment. And we work together on a solution called the Continuous Security Review, allows us to get to the deployment frequency of multiple times per day versus uh, the deployment frequency. Before that, we still followed the traditional initial security review, final security review. We, we could only release once a sprint, two weeks. Yeah, uh, a, a mantra we've heard at many of the shows we go to is security is everyone's responsibility. Um, was there a lot of retraining that needed to be done? Did you have to, uh, did the security people kind of lock everybody in the room and you know, make them watch films? Or how, how did you work through uh, you know, some, of, some of these changes? That's a great question. Um, so th there are a lot of things that our product security group um, does along with our cloud security team. They do have training globally for, for Axway um, not only for the development team, operations team as well. Um, they also, we also have built cross-functional teams within our scrum team. So our scrum teams contain what's called a, a SPOC, a security point of contact, a DevOps point of contact, a quality point of contact. And those members of the team help that scrum team have full ownership of that service. So when you say security is everybody's job, it's really security, quality, reliability, scalability and stability is everybody's job. And when you build those cross-functional teams, uh, you're able to provide the team the capability to have the ownership to take those services into the cloud on a daily basis. All right, uh, Vince, uh, help us connect the dots. Uh, Axway and, and GitLab, what, what, what's the connection there? Another great question. So um, we became a GitLab customer back in 2015. Uh, we were on SVN primarily and through lots of acquisitions, uh, either CVS or SVN and we were looking at the next generation source control management tool. Um, we 
actually invested and, and purchased uh, GitLab uh, for Axway in 2015 because it had an on-premise offering and we needed to store all of our source code on-premise. We, we, we have contracts with the, with the governments uh, around the world. Uh, and so that's how our journey started. But what we couldn't have imagined was how it was going to evolve. And that's why we're so happy with GitLab. Uh, they really take our feedback seriously. A lot of the things that we've asked them to go ahead and implement, they've gone and, and iterated and implemented those things, allowed us to test features, get faster feedback, um, one of the things we were looking for was EKS recently as a native way to um, basically plug in EKS as a GitLab runner and run your workloads there. That was implemented, I think, within the last release or two releases ago. So we really appreciate GitLab's responsiveness uh, with their product. Okay, EKS, you're talking about Amazon's Kubernetes. Uh, yes. Uh, of course there. So uh, you talked about on-premises. Uh, what is your cloud deployment? Are you multi-cloud now? or uh, you know, <laughs> what, 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 what's, And where does Kubernetes fit in that overall discussion? Uh, that, another great question. Um, so our journey uh, to cloud native started with a product called Amplify Central. Mm -hmm. And what we did was we started out with Docker Swarm. We evolved to COPS. Um, at the time when we had first gotten our production deployment running on COPS, EKS was just in its initial phases of rolling out. Uh, we're an Amazon uh, premier technology partner, and we actually helped them with their evaluation of the initial bit of EKS, gave them feedback. A year later, we're looking at it as a, a way to consolidate platform and allow our teams to focus on building a better product rather than having you know, infrastructure overhead of upgrading infrastructure you know, and going through those cycles, we could just test the infrastructure before we roll it out. All right, so Vince, you're talking a lot about your journey to cloud. What, what advice do you give to your peers as they're heading down their own journey? Uh, the advice I give to my peers is to keep calm, <laughs> and we'll go over that in our presentation, um, but really it, it's about behavior change. So it, it, it's not just words that are on you know, some paper that you walk into and you look at. You really have to embody those behaviors and have those feelings about what you're doing. And that's going to change your values and attitudes about how you act and work and, and help each other out. And that's how you break down silos. And ultimately, that's what changes culture. It's your values, attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors uh, that, that culminate uh, to, to build a one team operating as one team to deliver one platform. Okay, uh, so you're, you're speaking at the show. Obviously, you, you, you're, you're, you've used GitLab quite a bit. What else, uh, what, what brings you to this show? Uh, what are you hoping to get out of it? Um, just to see what you know, our peers and fellow practitioners are doing uh, in the cloud, uh, see how GitLab's evolving. Uh, it was a really great keynote this morning uh, from Todd and Sid. Uh, so it, it, it's great to keep abreast as to what even some of our customers are here today and to hear their story about um, how they're moving to the cloud and how it might parallel and some things that we can learn from them. That's one of the key behaviors uh, when you move towards cloud native is creating a culture of learning and that's how you grow. All right, well Vince, thanks so much for sharing your journey. Appreciate Great it. to meet you. And, thanks so much, uh, Stu. Best of luck with your presentation and uh, I'm Stu Miniman. This is GitLab Commit 2020. Thanks so much for watching theCUBE.